Hello and welcome to the Kenneth for Cammon Law Office Legal Podcast. In this edition, we talk about wills for gay and lesbian property owners. If someone is not in a bona fide civil union, domestic partnership, or recognized marriage, the partner in a gay or lesbian relationship has few rights if the partner dies. So, if, if there is a will, someone can set forth who gets their assets. National studies show that although many people work their whole lives, less than 50% of the people die without a will. If someone does not have a will, let's say, or a will was not done properly, state law determines who gets your assets. Your own wishes are not followed. Let's say, if someone dies without a will in New Jersey, state law determines who gets their assets. There's additional expenses to be incurred and extra work were required to qualify someone as an administrator. The partner, unless there's a domestic partnership, civil union, or recognized marriage, has very few rights to become the administrator. If there's no will, a judge determines who gets custody of children. If there's no will, let's say possibly the state could take property. And generally, the procedure to distribute assets becomes more complicated, and the law makes no exceptions for persons in unusual need or your own wishes. Moreover, without a will, it causes fights. So, having a will done ahead of time is very important for individuals in gay and lesbian relationships. Now, what are some of the typical clauses that are set forth in, in a will? Let's see. Number one, debts and taxes to be paid. Two, any specific bequests of money, items, jewelry, etc. Three, disposition to partner. Four, disposition of the remainder of the estate. Five, creation of trust sometimes for the partner. Six, creation of trust for children. Seven, provisions for any other beneficiaries under 21. Eight, executors. Nine, trustees. Ten, guardians. Eleven, no bond required. A will should be required so that it leaves no questions regarding your intentions. Why periodic review is essential? Even if you have an existing old will, there are many events that may occur which necessitate changes in your will. Some of these are marriage, death, birth, divorce, or separation affecting either you or anyone named in your will. Also significant changes in the value of your total assets or any particular assets that you own. Three, changes in your domicile. If someone moves from one state to another, although a will in one state may still be good, it may not be proper or set under the laws of the next state, and sometimes it does not take into account certain tax issues. Let's see. Also, that sometimes there's the death incapacity of a beneficiary, um, of an executor, trustee, or guardian. Can someone change their will? Yes. A will can be modified, added to, or changed entirely before your death, provided you are mentally and physically competent and desire to change your will. You should consider sitting down with your attorney whenever there are changes in the size of your estate or who you want to get your assets. Beware, if you draw lines, erase or write over or add notations to the original will, it can be destroyed as a legal document. Either a new will should be legally prepared or a codicil signed to legally change portions of your will. A properly drawn simple will without trust cost approximately $300 to $500. And there's also provisions that someone could have for trust. There's also other documents that are recommended, such as living wills, powers of attorney, and those will be covered in future podcasts. For preparation of wills or other legal documents, contact the Law Office of Kenneth for Cabin, 732-572-0500, or 1-800-NJ-LAW-7, located at 2053 Woodbridge Avenue, Edison, New Jersey, 08817, on the web at www.njlaws.com, njlaws.com, or www.centraljerseyelderlaw.com. Thank you and good luck.